Battle Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground, and lots of beer. That's true. <laughs> As you can see. Place to be if you're a pedophile. Yes. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Part of the plan. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's... I, I've been raping out of him for many years. <laughs> for many years. Yeah. Okay. Notice how close they're sitting. Yes. <laughs> We can never get close enough until I'm inside him. It's just and that's Dusky. not that's yeah. not Matt blushing. That's just that's just the that's, that's the theme. I've never seen point. this shit before. Art. <laughs> Old scratch. It's called flying dog, man. You're gonna love that. And this is called doggy style. So <laughs> I'm down. So <laughs> with Forrest Whitaker. Would you guys like to know what's in the news? I am curious. All right. For the last few weeks, we've been following the uh, exploits of Queensrÿche. You guys familiar with what's going on? Uh, I don't know if you've been following. I, yeah, make fun fun of Queen. I make fun of Queen's no, Rock every right. second I can. It's one, most, it's one of the most seen stickers. I won't Except for Silent Lucidity. That's it. I'll make fun of them. Well, actually, you Jeff Tate got fired. Correct. Yeah, Jeff Tate has been booted from the band. Booted. They got Todd Torre, who's fucking you, amazing, in the band. If you watch some old, if you watch a YouTube they put out in Seattle, and they do nothing but like. Take all the flame, all the old shit. black, oh, yeah. and he's sitting there. And I'm and so he's glad we're speaking Chinese right now. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, honestly, <laughs> I'm all glad all this tunes. guy's here. This guy is here. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know how many fans we're going to gain lose from this. I have no idea about half the stuff that we're talking about. He don't even know. If you, if you he like, don't even know Sonic Lucidity. No, so I never got into them. I heard if you, um, right. if you like Maiden and Priest, you would probably like old Yeah, you got to listen to the old No, I heard some stuff, and I was like, I was like, yeah, about it. I don't know. I'm jaded. I'm a I'm a musical yeah. snob. I'm an asshole. Really I don't know. Really I'll admit it. I, yeah. I, I guess I'm. I am definitely. If they play a time signature, if, if they play a time signature that we can understand, it probably won't appeal to us. <laughs> no, but no, but Queen's Red's a huge band, so and a huge well, name. Obviously, you know about this. So well, I'll let you. Take I'll be honest it. with you. I just saw the Scorpions two weeks ago. The Fox and yeah, that must have been they awesome. were supposed to open up. And Who did open up? Actually, it was a local girl band that... Uh, Pitch their name. Will Come? You got it. No, I... I, I <laughs> will Come. I said it. Will Come. Uh, I couldn't even tell you who it was. It was... Um, she was local. She was from Jersey. She was asked last minute. She actually has a Facebook. She hired. She... No. And they play... They, she was like a, They play like folk music. They That's what you got instead of Queens, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, why did we even well, do it? Like, we did not even go so into this. I mean, we went... It was up at, uh, up at Homedale. At the PNC Art Center, and nobody, it was that so bad that some of the people thought Queen Drake was opening. Cars were playing it out of the back of their truck, and they were running up saying, Oh, Queen Drake's on. And I'm like, No, 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 no. Please not. grab my leg again. I have a your first finger right now. This is your first finger. And I, I think it was, you know, they were supposed to have that was a big deal because uh, when they first let him go, um, Jeff Teat actually opened up with his backup band. Out and I think in Ohio. And oh, they, yeah, they did the first gig they did. Like they were on tour, they did a couple dates with Scorpions opening up, and then they booted him. And then Jeff said, "Well, wait a minute, I'm still on the bill. F you guys." So he went out with his backup band and did a show, mm -hmm. and it didn't go over that well. So they kicked Queen Drake off entirely. Uh, now they got Tesla. So actually, Tesla. I great. like Tesla. Yeah. yeah, I wish I would have got Tesla, but I want to see Rat. Old Rat. Old oh, Rat. Not so, in the news. So, so, let's hear about this. Yeah, we just went on the <laughs> So, Jeff Tate apparently is not really a nice guy to work with. Uh, yeah, my Let's be in the interview. Yeah. 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 So, apparently, uh, out. there was like there was a long laundry list. I mean, like, it, like if you want to go read the post, it went on for like years about how many dickish things this guy had done. Post by who? Wait, what? Is he in competition? By members, Rose? Of, uh, members of Queen's Rock? Yeah, they posted about <laughs> that why they got rid of so him. So burning that bridge, basically, then. Totally. Well, I mean, like, Fabulous. it sounds like it's been going on for years that he, you know, he's not into the rock and metal, that him and his wife tried to take control of all the money, that there was a, there was a, that there was a, uh, an Operation Mind Crime movie in the, in the, in the works. Yeah, you've heard of that for years. That, that, um, that Jeff Tate secretly made a deal for and was going to get all the money himself and not cut any of the other guys in. That in a gig in Brazil, he was spitting on the other guys. I saw the video of it, actually. He was actually that's wrong, singing, that's singing, that's spitting on the drummer while he's shit. playing. Is that rugged fool? What did he do to anybody? Yeah, and, and like that he actually got in physical altercations and punched dudes in the face and called them pussies and everything else. Whoa. So, I mean, this is all alleged of what I, you know, what was written, but... Uh, it, Jeff Tate? It sounded like... Uh, must be a fan of Gigi Allen. 
He sounded like he was a real douche. That's bad form. So they got this guy, uh, Tom Torian, who's like, they want to sing metal songs, and the guy can handle all that shit that, that Jeff Tate used to deliver back in the day before he got he old and bitter and started calling people pussies and spit on them. That's not right. I think that's a cool part of the show, show actually. Like, well, yeah, yeah, like, I'm, I'm down with Jeff Tate. Tate. What's his name? Yeah. Jeff, Jeff Tate. He's my man now. I Jeff like Tate's wall. <laughs> no, but you wouldn't like that's, Jeff Tate. That's what we do in Winslow. Like, all right? That's what we do. You Is see? that why Brian started with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know why? You want to know why? Because he was shook. <laughs> <laughs> He, he left was, when he was, oh, this guy's from Winslow. He was, so afraid, they shook. He he was, was afraid, afraid of the Winslow public. talent. <laughs> but I think Queen Drake really wanted to go into a, a back to old school, like harder type music for the next album. And Jeff was actually going toward not even like a rock album. They did some Queen cabaret Drake. shit. Yeah, what did you want to do though? If you're not even going to go for rock, what do you want to do? You know, and I think Queen Drake kind of had it because they weren't selling albums. They were. Playing, I, I, they, they played the track. No, they were. He wasn't going for rock. rock. I guess he was going theater rock. type. No, it's crazy. You, you say that though, like you're like, oh, they're playing the track and air, which like to a lot of people, you're like, I want to play the track. Yeah, but but, but, but I agree. Yeah, you're saying for a band like that, you're like, dude, that's a step back. If you're selling a half a million records and you're playing the track and air, you're not too happy. I saw them. Yeah, yeah. You hit the wall. I've seen them at the Spectrum where they sold out twenty thousand seats. Yeah. And now you're playing the track with three thousand seats. And that's and that's on a, to support their last album, like their latest album that they put out. So that's you can tell that I didn't like their new music, and I see where they're going with this new guy. No, they stopped after I mean, I liked uh, uh, what was it Empire? I mean, it was a good Empire album. But after good. that, it just it was it. It was like it got progressively worse. Right, right. Before yeah. like the last album, be like. But from what I was saying, is Jeff Tate took over and like used outside songwriters. He did. And they didn't even cut the guys out of the thing. And, and his did. wife really right, ruined right. it. Because I heard she, she took over a lot. She yep, was managing, yep. I mean, all the back end deals. Yep. And didn't we learn a lesson with Yoko Ono? Really? Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, I look forward to hearing a new Queen Drake with uh, Latorio. Because yeah, I think. Latorio, you just made him Italian. Oh, okay. Oh, Italian. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Hey, you're, if you like a, if you like a spaghetti in the tallatorio, <laughs> then you should check them out. The queen's a lot of joy boss. The queen of the rag. Yeah. He's a queen. He's a queen. He's a queen of the rag. He's a queen of the rag. Boss. Oh, Baganza. <laughs> so if you're Italian and you like <laughs> Latorio, then you should check them out. The lady, she was black. Oh, good thing. Go to the bar. I'm Italian and I'm insulted. <laughs> See? I'm Italian and I like it. I'm Italian. Oh, I'm Italian. So I'm Italian food now. I'm Irish, so I'm enjoying the shit out of this right now. So, yeah, don't spit on, don't spit on the dudes from Queens, right? Don't be, yeah. don't uh, be, they'll, they'll beat you. Don't be, no, they won't. Don't be, don't be a taint. <laughs> Jeff Tate, I, I can mend. You're not going to mend. Don't be a taint. Jeff Tate, I can mend. You're not going to mend. Don't be a taint. Jeff Tate, I, I can mend. You. That's hood shit. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down with that. Nah. These guys are hood rats. So Man's with violence and death. Yes, 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 yes. We're from Upper Crusty Morristown. We don't we don't do that spitting. We saw a, a, a suplex at our last show. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys punch in the suplex, don't you? No, we don't. We don't fight, but <laughs> we won. But we got. We fight when it's. We uh, wall out. We wall out. We don't, we don't start straight. Hell's yeah, bitch. <laughs> you should come to a cognitive show. I'm telling you, Jeff. I'm going to pitch that while we're talking about it. All right. And that's what we have on board. Kind of right. teasing. <laughs> God. Katari. <laughs> you made it. Jeff. I'm the comic relief. I can't wait to send this to Todd Latore. <laughs> <laughs> right? That makes me Is that off? <laughs> <laughs>